Hello and what's up YouTube. Today's video is about the difference between the 2019 and 2020 Harley Davidson touring bikes. The first thing is something specific to the Road Glide Special. Uh, you'll notice the top of the dash, uh, the surround for the gauges are now matte finish uh, like the Road Glide Standard and Street Glide Standard. They're no longer gloss black like they were in 2019. Additionally, and I think this applies to all touring bikes, there's a cover on the transmission that was gloss black, which is now wrinkle finish like the rest of the engine casings. Big improvement in my book. Number two is what you see here. That's right, only one key fob comes with a 20 model year. You still get two keys, but only one key fob. It's one way to save a buck, I guess. Number three, lack of a heel shifter. I know some people are really upset by this. Personally, I always took mine off my bikes, so no big deal. Number four, Harley removed the closing vents from the Batwing fairing, as well as the Shark Nose. The Road Glides still have the opening and closing vent for the top. However, the two side vents are gone. Uh, the cover for, I believe, all of the Batwing fairings has been removed too. Number five is the HD Connect. Pretty cool feature if it works. I've had my bike for over two months now and the dealer still hasn't been able to get my HD Connect working. You get uh, location, alarm status, uh, fuel level, miles remaining, etc. So pretty cool. But for 150 bucks a year, uh, I don't think I'd renew. Number six is the new Prodigy wheels on the specials, Road King, Street Glide, and Road Glide. These are an awesome looking wheel, and I think a huge improvement for 2020. Number seven, all touring bikes now come standard with linked ABS. Number eight is RDRS, new for 2020. Includes a lot of safety features like cornering ABS, uh, drag torque control, cornering traction control. Uh, the two things I would have really liked to have is the hill hold assist and the TPMS. HD does offer the TPMS upgrade through the parts and accessories, so I think I'll be adding that to my bike in spring. And finally, number nine, blacked out versions of the Limiteds. I think this is long overdue. It really gives the Limited models a more modern, a younger, more aggressive appearance. Yeah, I believe it's $1,900 extra, but it's really worth the upgrade if you're looking at a limited model. Thanks for watching the video. Please remember to hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.